World Cup market is here guys or at least we can see in our tabs it's still unavailable but probably today or at most tomorrow it will be available in our first video of the day we'll talk about how to prepare for this World Cup market what to do when the market goes live and of course we're gonna talk about the correlation between the World Cup market and the core game market first things first when the market goes live I think we should all sell our players yes our World Cup players especially the elite ones I'm not sure if we can sell our 92 ones like Kante or Akinfev or Modric or Ayobi the same goes for the 90 and 91 cards if you don't use them in your main team and if you plan to exchange them at the end of the event I would say sell them now they might cost like five six seven who knows they might be really really costly the 92 ones could be even 10 plus milli and as the game progresses they should become cheaper and cheaper since they will be packed more and of course people will try to sell them I would say the same for the high rated elites especially from countries from top countries for example 89 Hazard should be going for a lot 89 Sterling all of these players should be very very valuable I don't think the stage players will be auctionable I'm not sure about the campaign masters as well if they are the 92 ones if they are tradable that would be great I can make lots of coins if they're not oh well it is what it is looks like yeah can be auctioned Kante 91 can be auctioned I wonder if Ali for now it looks like the masters can be auctioned yeah basically all the players they say that they can be auctioned oh come on there have to be some players that can be auctioned right yeah even the base elite ones it, it says that they can be auctioned so probably probably that should change when, when the world cup market becomes available so yeah the best thing that you can do is sell them as quick as you can after that their prices should drop in the following weeks depending on that guys some player packs could be profitable for example for example if 79 cards go for like 200k then then i was going to say 200k packs could be uh, <laughs> profitable it looks like 200k packs are not present anymore we have some uh, elite packs here for 850k nah nah i don't think those will be profitable so that's pretty much it regarding the world cup market i would say sell your elites as soon as the world cup goes live for the in-game market uh, let's talk a bit about the in-gear market as well. I invested uh, in plenty, plenty, plenty season 3 players for the trading SBC. Looks like they completely forgot about the trading SBC. Even though they said the trading SBC will be solved and we're going to have positions and all that stuff. I'm very, very disappointed. I was going to make an improved FIFA Mobile video in which I would praise the developers for the recent changes in the World Cup mode and stuff. But unfortunately because trading SBCs have been forgotten completely and even though it was promised that they would take care of them yeah I'm not gonna make that video I decided to sell for a loss I think I, I'm gonna lose like five mini coins on all my um, trading SBC players uh, on some of them I lose only tax but on most of them I lose money as well so yeah I think I lose there around five milli I should be able to get to 50 milli. I still have lots of players that are nice not selling. It was like I have 44 more Sako and Smallings. So only 10 or 12 more milli there. I also have some gold players that I invested in that I'm not gonna sell because yeah, there's no point in selling those. Uh, I have some Sakos looks like left to sell. The market should crash guys. The core game market should crash because people will want to have as many coins as possible to buy the World Cup players either to use them in their teams or to use them as XP so yeah I think the market should crash I think you should sell your elites I'm gonna try to do that even though the market is very very low I think it will get even lower that should happen in theory at least now let me check some of your questions because as you know I ask you on Twitter and on YouTube to ask me questions before I make this video just to respond to some of your concerns Bob asks should we invest in higher rated elites as I said, I think a market crash is coming, so not yet. Maybe after the market crash, but at the same time, if you're gonna invest, when will the prices go up? Probably at the end of the World Cup event, within like 40 days. So you might get stuck with those elites for like 40 more days. Somebody asks what to do with 70 and 74 gold cards. 
sell them off is the price suitable I think they have no value so I just use them as training XP if you want to sell them off for one two three K and that's what you want to do but in my opinion it's too much of a hassle so I just use them as XP somebody asked when will the market open I have no idea obviously I'm not working for EA I have no idea when things happen and to be honest I don't think they don't know either best player to buy for upgrade player and experience I think the team of the season ones, the 70, 75 team of the season cards, I think they're still very, very low. Let's check them up. Ooh, 75 cards, yeah. Team of the season ones and some 75 season 4 players are below 10k. These guys, 75 rated cards below 10k. These are, wow, some of them are even at 5k. These are the best value for XP. Somebody asked me about the price cap of the players in World Cup market. Should be less than that of core game market? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. But yeah, obviously I have no idea. I think uh, the price cap should be kind of the same. Uh, yeah, I don't see why it be, should be different. And looks like that's pretty much it regarding the market questions. If you have other questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to respond to as many as I can. Again, to conclude your elite cards your core game elite cards i think they will go down once the world cup market goes live so i will sell them still while you still have time and regarding the world cup uh, market again sell them when the market goes live you should be elite you should see elite cards between 400 500 600k they should be much much pricier than the in-game elites also keep an eye out for those master cards because yeah they might be very very expensive and selling them right now and buying them later would be a very very good way of making coins but yeah guys this is pretty much it for the moment i'll probably do another market video after the market goes live and yeah that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed share if you think my content is worthy until next time i'm out peace